always be nerdy. Welcome to Always Be Eddie. Remember, I told Always Be Nerdy that I'll be doing the unboxing. What you just heard was the theme to the Six Million Dollar Man who was played by Lee Majors, a.k.a. Steve Austin, the Six Million Dollar Man. As you can see right here, you have Oscar Goldman. You have Bigfoot. You have Fenbot. You have... Colonel Steve Austin and you have Dr. Rudy Wells all the characters from the six million dollar man now you're probably wondering Eddie that's it you already unbox the item that you're about to show. So, what else is there to do? I know. He's back. And he's wearing a mask because, you know, quarantine. We're supposed to be six feet from each other. I know, dummy dumb. But remember, you're always be nerdy's friend. Mm, okay. You get to do this unboxing on your own. And then when always does an unboxing... Can I be there? I guess. Bye everyone. Bye. I'm gonna be in the next unboxing. What? I didn't tell him what it was. Bye dummy dummy. Get me some clothes brother. Alright. Alright. As I said, my nerdy friends, sorry about that, a little glitch, maybe it was dummy dumb that glitched my uh, thing, or maybe it was the 
six million dollar man that passed by through here and uh the friction of his speed technology <laughs> as i was saying i have a package here and it says frat gilly must be italian ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Oh wait a minute! I can't. I can't say stuff like that. I can't say stuff like that. Well, I was married to an Italian. Does that count? Maybe not. But it it is it's in um a Christmas story. So if it's in a movie. It says fragile. Okay, for those of you that know, it says fragile. In the Christmas story, they say fragile must be Italian. Okay, okay. All right, <laughs> we're about to unbox this. You know, dummy dumb, I'm going to put on a mask. No, you're not. I guess not. Uh, so let's get to the unboxing. Wood. That's, what, that's what you guys came for. This ultimate unboxing I don't even know where to open it because I don't want to cut into the item oh it, it's it is in a box oh okay because I don't know if the person actually put it in the box but yeah he did put it in the box. Okie dokie, dude. Thank you for putting it in a box for me. This came from Puerto Rico. For that deal. Alright. Uh, I'm not going to show the person's address. This is one of my childhood action figures that I could not have gotten. The reason why I showed you this is to compare to the scale. That's how you say it. Oh my god. There it is. I can't. I'm actually holding in my hands a Steve Austin six million dollar man action figure if I faint call dumb dumb no I ain't gonna help you Help yourself, I'm gonna take your action figure out and run away with it. You're not gonna do the next unboxing. Oh yes I am, cause it's my toy. It don't say it. Okay. Alright. This this is how awesome this figure is that he had to package it, but there's more compared to this. I just got to get the box. I can't believe I'm actually holding in my hand a six, and I'll say it again, a six million dollar man action figure from the 1976 Kenner, Kenner action figure. Well, all these people are buying uh, collectibles. This is one that surpasses them all. This is what you call the cream of la creme. 
around me. I don't know why this guy really did a number on this, but I respect him for that. I just don't want to damage it. Oh, this bubble wrap. That's the bloopers, and thank you for coming. I want to damage it. Look, look at that, look at that. Look at that. That has the bionic eye that you could look through. Oh my God, I could see you, Eddie. I could see you. This was worth the price. I'm not going to say how much I paid for it because I'm not. I'm not going to do that no more on my channel. What for? And it has the Kung Fu grip. I've always wanted this toy as a kid. Oh my God, I can't. I've always wanted also um, G.I. Joe. I never could get it. But next to, next to G.I. Joe, this is, the, this is the actual one I always wanted to get. Colonel Steve Austin, the six million dollar man. I, I I just can't believe that I'm holding it in my hand. I I, I just can't believe it, man. I can't I can't. And is and is like imperfect. say you gotta give it like 20 I don't care about the Kung Fu grip oh man I should have left it in a plastic this this is one of the best parts of this unboxing the second one is coming up next I, I, I have something else here something else oh I, I got enough to wrap them back yeah there he is my nerdy friends compare to scale there it is the six million dollar man 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 colonel steve austin 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 compare to scale little austin i think this is 13 inch or 12 inch no more bloopers, man. I I just can't believe I'm actually hold, holding. <sighs> then with the bionic eye, look look at that. The bionic eye, look. Can you see me? Where's the camera at? Can you see always? Well, it's not always, but I can't. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I have this in my hand. I just can't believe it. I've had the six million dollar man, Steve Austin, in my hand. Oh my god. I just I just can't believe it. This this is what uh, a person that collects Barbies and you get a Barbie that you always wanted, this is the same reaction. I always wanted the six million dollar man. Well, I'm back again. I don't know what happened, but this is Take two or take three. Now I'm gonna show you the other amazing item that I have that came along with this uh, six million dollar man. I, I'm flabbergasted. I'm 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 in awe. That I'm actually holding a six million dollar man 
Steve Austin 1973 Kenner doll in my hand. I never thought that I'll ever own this action figure. Now let's put them down. All right. And let's open this. If we can open it. Are you guys ready for this? This this is something that Eddie should open, not always. This is this is and let me see if I could get some light on this. Historic signature of Lee, Ma Lee Majors, the television icon Okay, I can't read that. Oh my god, my eyesight is bad But this is an authentic Steve Austin, I mean Lee Majors autograph okay not only now 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 I gotta put my nerdy my nerdy glasses on this I'm I'm geeking out with this okay I'm I, I never thought I, I'll be able to own something like this I mean this This is my childhood right here. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I just can't believe that I'm actually holding this in my hand. Uh, and then on top of that, I get Lee Majors, the guy that plays the six million dollar man in Steve Austin's autograph. Just, just can't believe it. All right, my nerdy friends. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Just thank you to the person that um, put this in auction and. Um, You made one fifty one year old almost cry. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm actually holding the six million dollar man with the bionic eye. I mean they have they have one that has uh, I think a bionic leg and I think you see this one has this right 
but this is the paper version. This is the. I think you could remove that, or you can remove his arm. And if you're able to do it, I'm not gonna do it. I I want it just like this. I've always wanted one. I got it. And I'm not gonna do no modifications on this guy. This is like uh, almost near mint. I would never sell this. That's for sure. Never. I, I just can't believe it. I have this. I got to show this to my mom. And tell her how I obtained it. Even, even, look, they look like Adidas. <laughs> All right, my nerdy friends. Ed, you and I are of one and I'm, I'm just I'm just in awe I just can't believe I actually in my hand not only do I have but I also have Lee Majors his autograph I'm gonna treasure this for the rest of my life always be nerdy always be Eddie Always be a six million dollar Lee Majors fan, and I heard that uh, I heard that um, this guy, I think uh, Mark Wahlberg, wanted to do a movie. I don't know if it's uh, I, I I would I haven't looked into it yet, but um, called the six billion dollar man. I hope it's not making fun of an iconic TV show like this. Like what they did with um, Shazam was an iconic show. And they kind of like made it. You know, the guy was Zachary, whatever his name is. He was, he was good in it. But they made him look like... Um, he wasn't a real superhero, you know. If you haven't seen it, go watch it, Suzanne. But let me, I, I, I'm, I'm mumbling here because I'm in awe. I'm, I'm not 51 years old right now. I'm that little uh, eight-year-old kid that was looking at other kids. Not that my parents couldn't get it, because, you know, I mean, I got a lot of toys when I was a kid. But, you know, that little eight-year-old kid looking at other kids playing with this and always wanting it, never got it. Look at me now. Not only do I have it, but I have the autograph. It pays to wait, kids. It pays to wait. Always be nerdy. And always be Yeti. Peace out. I, I just, I, I don't care if this video is like three hours long. I'm gonna have fun playing with this. Peace out. And this. Oh look, it came on. Peace out. That, that's, that's, uh. Peace out.